rain? Well, my LARP makeup stays. Crazy heat? Well, my LARP makeup stays. Surprise battle? Well, my LARP makeup stays. How? Let me show you how to make permanent and sweat-proof war paint. It is one of the questions that I get the most. How do I make my LARP makeup fixed for the entire day? How do I make sure that I go into combat, into battle, and I sweat and nothing moves? Well, today let's talk about three ways on how you can do this really easy at any LARP event. And before we start, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and do all the things. Follow me everywhere to see other amazing LARP content. All right, let's start with the three ways you can make your LARP makeup not move for the entire day. One of the most requested things ever. And everybody keeps on asking me what kind of makeup I use. Well, there are three makeups I'm going to introduce you today to. One of them is cake makeup. This is cake makeup. Um, I use a brand called Grimas. I'm going to link all the products I use down there below so you can purchase them. But as usual, get it wherever you get it. I'm just gonna tell you how you can do it. So let's start with our makeup. I'm going to use a little sponge and a little bit of water. Just a tiny dip of water is enough. And then I'll go and dip into the cake makeup just like this. You can probably see it. Just takes a little bit of the color on the sponge and then I go on my forehead today. I'm going to do a tribal Viking makeup and I'll show you all the different techniques I use. All right, taking the cake makeup and just applying it on my forehead as a foundation. Um, the good thing about this kind of cake foundation is that you can use aqua based makeup on top in any color and you won't see this shining through. So this is sincerely just a foundation. I'm gonna let this dry now for a second until it's completely dry and then we'll go over it with aqua based makeup. Now that it's dry, we can apply any kind of aqua based makeup on top. You can just leave it like that if you want to. If you just wanna have a plain forehead, you can leave it like that. It's already water resistant and resistant against any kind of sweat and tears and whatever. But of course, I wanna make it a little bit more intricate. I wanna add some details. So I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to use my aqua based makeup. Uh, this is also from Crema. So I'm going to use blue and black and I'm gonna mix them up and I'm gonna do a little bit of a Viking futa groom kind of makeup on top of my forehead. You can make this however you want to. You can use just runes and stuff. I'm going to try to make a little bit of a fantasy version of a big vizier, which is a Icelandic kind of Viking style rune. Um, and let's see how it turns out. So this is not historically correct, it's just my version. And I'm going to make even more details with more futak runes. And you can apply, of course, your group symbol there or whatever you think you can think of. By the way, these kinds of runes you can just Google online. If you look for futark, that's F-U-T-H-A-R-K, you can find any kind of Celtic Viking type of runes and of course you can just make them up. It's fantasy after all, so use your imagination. See, no 
notice how I go a little bit darker on the outside of my forehead because I want to, in general, give the kind of illusion that it's lighter in the middle and darker on the outside so I shape my forehead a little bit. I have a gigantic forehead so I can shape it however I want it. On the sides I'm going to use darker colors and on the middle I'm going to use lighter colors that way I shape it into like a nicer form. and we're finished you can add however much you want of course and now I'll show you how to use a second technique to make something very very water resistant and stick the whole entire day and that is to use cream based or grease based makeup I'm gonna use this by Grimas as well. It's simply a cream kind of texture. You'll notice it when you go over it, it's very smooth and it applies and it's like a, like a fat grease kind of cream kind of base. And whenever you touch it, you'll see that you can smear it, um, which is the downside kind of of this makeup. But it's also nice because you can do like kind of smeared versions, ombre effects and all that. However, and that is the trick. You do want to fix it afterwards with fixing powder or else it's gonna go and smooch all over the place. But that way it's gonna stay and stick the whole day. Attention though to those of you guys who have sensitive skin. If you use cream-based or grease-based makeup, it's going to clog your pores. It's literally not gonna let any type of water outside of your pores, which is awesome if you wanted to not move at all and if you wanted to stay there because you wanted to be sweat resistant. But if you have sensitive skin, it's going to clog your pores and you're gonna have pimples afterwards. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hands for this and I'm just gonna apply it here on my cheeks for you to see what I can do with it. Just apply it, take it like here and just smooch it over. And now I'm going to fix this with fixing powder. Now, they have this in every kind of drugstore and makeup section. This is the version that they sell for theater makeup. Um, and I'm just gonna dip my huge and huge brush in this. Do you see how like how much how powder comes off, how much product comes off? And then you just go over it and fix it. This is gonna make it a, <coughs> a bit more white, but it's also going to fix it. This also comes as like a compact powder in any kind of makeup store. I use this sometimes, that's more compact. It doesn't, isn't not that loose, you can see just like that you can use that as well that's cheap usually you can get a lot of product for only a little bit of money and like this the grease makeup should not be greasy anymore you can touch it now you can go around and it doesn't move and of course you can also uh, sweat with this move with this and it's still gonna feel nice and smooth all right and now of course I'm very white but to make this a bit more shaman like and to just make it more evil and badass. The most important part is to always make your eyes very dark. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take a brush and I'm going to take any kind of eyeshadow. Um, I use a lot of L'Oreal or this is Maybelline Rival, something, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you can get in your hands. And I'm going to use a little bit of a dark blue shade and then a little bit of black to just darken my entire eyes, make some smoky eyes. And all you need to do for that is to surround your entire eye with dark shades. Let's go. And then for all the ladies out there, I use some mascara to make sure 
My lashes are black as well. All right. And then we have super dark black shaman eyes. And now we're going to do the final touches, which is just do a bit of shading and darkening. And I'm going to explain to you before I do that, the last way to make a permanent large makeup. And that is to use aqua-based makeup, or the last one I'm gonna talk to you about today because there is more. But the aqua-based makeup is also a way to do this. Um, that's not going to be as permanent as the other ones, but I'm gonna show you on my hand how potentially you could do this. I'm just gonna use a little bit of water on the sponge and some aqua-based makeup. And then what you would do is you would use fixing spray. And that's an example of a fixing spray. A better one is from Cruolan. Um, and, but you can get it from any kind of brand. It's usually called like a setting or a fixing spray. And then you just go over it, see how the mist goes over it, and that's going to also fix this. You have to let it dry, and then it's going to be a bit more fixed than without it. But for all the guys and gals out there who sweat a lot, that's not gonna last you long. This is just to keep, like for those people who have dry skin, to let it stay there a little bit longer. This is not gonna be permanent. Cake makeup and grease makeup, however, are. And some of you guys might also have some experience with alcohol-based makeup. That is also a way, but I'm not gonna mention that today too much. So cake makeup and grease-based makeup plus transparent fixing powder is the way to go. And now we're gonna fix up our makeup, make it all beautiful and nice. I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Take a little bit of black powder or whatever dark powder you have at hand. I'm using eyeshadow, because I don't give a fuck. And I'll take a big brush, dip it in, and then I'll make everything darker that is um, supposed to be more in the dark. The sides, the, under the cheeks, under the eyes, you know, so I give everything a bit more of a dimension. And then you can also make your jaw bones more prominent. This is also a tip for the guys out there because jaws typically are more masculine, make you more badass looking. So if you go underneath the jawline here and just make this a little bit darker, you're just gonna make them pop out and make them more edgy and more badass. See how this goes out? Immediately my whole entire jawline is gonna be more sharp on this side than on this side now. Ta-da! And that's it. That is the three different ways to make your LART makeup permanent and to also make a badass Viking tribal fantasy makeup for your live action role playing. And if you have any additional ways to make your LART makeup permanent, tell me in the comments. I would love to know. And of course, I will link all the products below if you're interested in what to buy. And of course, as usual, I hope you have a lot of fun doing this. See you next time.